What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Stoneblock. Oh, yeah, guys. So you thought last episode was going to be a last one because we lost everything, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Nope. I fixed it. So what I ended up doing was taking the save that happened from two episodes ago, almost all the way through, but part way. Uh, yeah, I reloaded that save. But before I reloaded that save, uh, what I did with the current world where we lost everything is I came over to our chicken area here and I grabbed pretty much every one of our chickens, right? And I put it into a chest. Not this one. I cheated in a diamond chest. I put all those into a chest and I used a moving wand to pick that item up and I put it into my inventory, right? So we had all of our chickens, all of these roost things in a diamond chest in a moving wand in my inventory, okay? So then I copied my player file from the current world into the restored backup world where not all the progress was made. So then we had all of our chickens. All right. So pretty much that's the, the long and the short of it. We copied my player file with all the current stuff into the backup that was like pretty old. Well, older than I needed it to be. Because unfortunately, I don't think there's a way for me to like respawn in 10, 10, 10 chickens or whatever. Uh, it's a game breaking bug. It seemed like a lot of people were like, yeah, you should just go ahead and restore it and, you know, get your things back and all of that kind of stuff. So that's what I ended up doing. Um, so yeah, our world is saved. We did lose a few things and I have been doing some things, a little bit of things off camera here. Uh, so we had two rows or I guess two columns of double chests here. The one that was right here had a bunch of stuff that's been there for a while, but there was a second one that we put a lot of other stuff in from like loot bags and reward bags and things like that. That second column of chests, the double chests, those were gone. Those weren't part of that save. So yeah, we lost all the things that were in there, which is fine. Um, I did add in some more drawers down here and I have taken the time to put a void upgrade in every single one of them. And since we have emerald chickens, I went ahead and I put storage upgrade. Well, that tooltip goes behind. That's weird. Uh, put in uh, the storage upgrade in every single one of these, the uh, emerald ones, except for ones that don't make sense. Like, do we really need that many witch trophies? No. Um, so like friend or pearls, we have them in there. I don't remember. Yeah, all the skulls I don't think we did. Uh, I put a, a thing in here for these patient bags and... Yeah, pretty much everything that just kind of made sense. I got rid of the slabs on the floor. I was kind of getting tired of having them there. So we got rid of that. I moved the uh, nether portal down one block so it's flush with the floor. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much it for back here. I have been breeding up a few more chickens. Uh, I did make a water chicken, and then I made a l obsidian chicken, right? So we now have an obsidian chicken that's making obsidian for us, and we also have a silicon chicken that's making silicon for us. I think when we needed silicon before, I just took some quartz and I smelted it all down. But yeah, I'd rather just have silicon always being generated. So I made a couple more chickens here. Uh, I think I also made this water chicken too. So water, obsidian, and silicon are the ones that we just got done making. Um, but yeah, like I said, pretty much everything should be about where it was before. Now... With the restoration of our world here, there's a lot of quests that I had to recomplete. And since we lost a lot of the rewards that we got because of that problem with the moving wand and refined storage, we had to claim a lot of these again and reopen them. So maybe we'll get something that's like, why can't I click on that? <laughs> maybe we'll get something that's like super OP or super good. Uh, we did end up losing the uh, 464k discs uh, storage components from Applied Energistics. I am kind of... A little sad about that, but we don't have applied energistics going at this point, so it doesn't really matter that much right now. But yeah, we probably, like I said, we'll switch over to applied energistics at some point. We have quests to do it, so it kind of makes sense. Anyway, uh, we'll just go ahead and claim the rest of these guys. And anything else? No, I think that's it. Okay, so let's pop open some of these rewards. I'll go over to our applied energistics area so we can store stuff in case inventory. Uh, so mana lens, efficiency, and velocity. We get ourselves a tier three chance pendant. We get a diamond shield. Does anybody actually use shields in this game? Really? Anybody? No? Okay. Uh, whoa, okay. Upgrade speed ultimate. Only 16, though. It's 
kind of weird that they only gave us 16. But, you know, I guess if we get another one, they'll stack. Uh, chance cubes. Repair talisman. Okay. So this guy uh, auto repairs items. Uh, yeah, so like the durability on this, mm-hmm. Yeah, so all of our stuff is automatically being repaired. Who needs mending? Not me. All right, so bobble, let's throw that into a bobble slot. That should still work, I believe there. Looks like it. Oh my goodness, that's so awesome. All right, let's keep going. What do we get? Uh, some viaducts. We get draconic cores. We get some epic bacon and, oh, I think we had this one before, but we might have lost it. Do we have the photo? No, we never had those photovoltaic, or we don't have them now, but we did get these before, so we get them back again. So that's really good. Okay, so we ended up with some good stuff here. That repair talisman, that's super awesome. That means we could switch off of, like, uh, these tools for our main ones and get something like uh, these diamond pickaxes. You know, there's one here. That's not repairing, is it? No. Uh, if I put it here, that repairs. Yeah, we could switch off of using like our stone tools for a little while and use these until these are in low on durability and let them recharge back up. So that is definitely a thing. I like it. And this also has magnetic on it. So I think that draws blocks to you. Not entirely sure. Uh, so yeah, we can put that away. Um, so yeah, other things I'd like to do, I was thinking that we should upgrade our tools. So like sword, for instance, we have looting two on it, but only has five attack damage, which isn't that great. Uh, if I wanted to make like a diamond sword, what's the difference? This has seven attack damage, so that's not much better. It is two attack damage better, but it's not that much better. Uh, we could just go ahead and put quartz all up on this thing and uh, improve it quite significantly. So we do have a quartz chicken over here. Let's do that. We might look at, hey, we got a fluid cow that spawned right in the little pen. What are you? You are a molten invar. Okay, and then uh, energetic sheep running around like crazy. We could go ahead and grab ourselves some quartz here and then uh, upgrade the sharpness on here. And then I also, did I make a lapis? Yeah, I did 10, 10, 10 this lapis. We had made this before, but I went ahead and I made it better. Uh, so we can do this to finish out the looting three on this sword. So yeah, I think all this kind of stuff that we're doing, even though it's a stone sword, we can always upgrade that blade later. But all this stuff that we're doing to the sword right now is gonna make it pretty good, I think. So we'll just go ahead and add all that on there. How many more upgrades we got? Two more modifiers. All right, so right now we are at a 12.31 attack damage, which is better than that uh, the diamond sword. Let's do this. We'll just put all the rest of the lapis on there. So that brings us up to luck three. So we now have looting three on there, which is really good. Uh, yeah, let's put the rest of the quartz on there. In fact, I think we need more. We don't have that much over here. Uh, we might have to accelerate one. <laughs> We might have to accelerate wand our chicken. No, oh, no, you know what? That should be enough. We only need it up to 72 per thing, so that should that should get us to the maximum that we can do for our modifiers right now. So we'll place that there, do this and this, and now we have a 13.96 attack damage stone sword. It'll only get better when we put better materials on there, but for right now, that's going to get us by, so I'm perfectly happy with that. Okay, uh, so now that our tools are slightly upgraded, we are now using efficiency three diamond pickaxe with repair from the repair talisman and a looting three way sharper. In fact, that's like double the sharpness uh, stone sword. Yeah, I think we're we're off to a good start here. Now, other things that I was thinking we should do is move through some more of these quests. So like start of stone block, this one wanted us to make end stone, right? So end stone is made in this mod pack by putting, I think, glowstone in lava. So let's do in stone. Let's take a look real quick. So there is no chicken that does it. You can get it from loot bags, apparently. So fluid block transformation. Yeah, lava in a stone barrel with glowstone dust turns into end stone. Now we have a thing set up here that's going kind of slow. Actually, that's going really slow. We should speed this up real quick. Make make our lava go faster. Yeah, we should do that. I think we can accelerate this, but the problem is that solid cobblestone, that's being limited by how slow the vanilla hopper is, right? 
Like we can only go as fast as the uh, the solid cobblestone in there. Let's change this up real quick. So let's see. Oh, you know what? We need a moving wand. Moving wand. Let's do this. Yeah, moving wand. Don't use <laughs> on the disk drive. That's gonna be the worst thing ever if I accidentally do that again. We can move this over, and then yeah, I guess we need to get rid of these translocators. And then we'll move that over here. Uh, we're going to get rid of that hopper here in a second. Let's just do this now. Get rid of that, clear this thing out. Uh, what else do we have? Translocators can go back like so. Now, before we had a filter on this one to only pull out cobblestone because the hopper can accept any item, right? But I do believe this crucible only accepts cobblestone. So if we press this button, yeah, we only get cobblestone in there. You can't melt down like compressed or double compressed cobblestone. So I think we're fine like so. Uh, so now that that's going, if we do this, yeah, you can see the solid cobblestone is now staying above zero. So we're like sending as much lava through as possible. The only other things I can think of that might make this faster, if we put some glowstone, you know, we don't have any glowstone over here. Let's go grab some. We can put some glowstone on the sending and the, well, I guess both the sending for the cobblestone and the sending for the lava, and that might make it go faster. Let's just pull out all four stacks. That should be good. Uh, Yeah, let's try this. With the translocators, you can upgrade them. So if you put a piece of glowstone on that, that sends a stack. And if you put a glowstone on this one, it'll send, I think, up to a bucket. You can see it's now a double helix instead of a single one. Um, so we can place that stuff back in here. So now if we try to accelerate this, we might go pretty fast. And it looks like we're still limited by how fast it's producing the lava. Okay, but we're definitely making that obsidian a lot faster than what we were just a little bit ago, so that's still pretty good. So let's get rid of this. We'll uh, fill this all up full of lava real quick. I think it holds up to four buckets. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we needed nine buckets of, or I'm sorry, nine blocks of endstone. Let's grab that glowstone back. We just need nine of these for right now. Okay, so we should just be able to right click that onto this thing. Oh yeah, I was right clicking, I was like, nothing's happening. That's because this thing is going so fast, it's refilling it instantaneously. All right, so that's done. We can just uh, accelerate this a little bit. I need to go grab the other one. This one is empty. Accelerate that a little bit, and then we should be able to get the last of this end stone. All right, grab this one and get this done. So yeah, um, the translocators are super good. The acceleration wand, super good. <laughs> Feels a little cheaty, but it's also good just feeling a little overpower to sometimes okay so there we go uh we have one end stone the rest of them got picked up by that hopper so there's a nine that we needed yeah so we're doing good here okay so we can claim this loot chest and then we can pop it in fluix block and certus quartz block i think we've gotten some of those before but yeah let's unblockify those and these as well yeah okay cool so place all that stuff back in here and then i think we needed one stone to fix the floor. All right, cool. So our cobblestone generator and our lava production, yeah, that's all doing pretty good. No more vanilla hopper. I think that's better overall. Uh, so now that that's done, we can look at the end. Hmm. Uh, so it said, use this, use the items required in this quest to make the portal to the end. Google artificial end, pro tip, craft, and end cake instead. So I feel like I've read this before, so I feel like we've done that quest before. I couldn't remember if we did the end stone one or not, but it looks like we have done that because I remember reading through this. Um, so it says craft and end cake instead. So end cake is made right. So we need nether stars. Okay, so this is where we're stuck at right now. So we should have enough wither skeleton skulls to spawn and kill the wither boss but we need an area <laughs> we need an area here in order to attack the wither boss do we have wither proof blocks do we have anything that's wither proof okay so this stuff is reinforced obsidian that requires four grains of infinity per block that is ridiculous um is there a way for us to get this easier if we had if we had uh, bedrock, we could do that. Otherwise, we're going to be sieving gravel for it at a 2% chance. Yeah. Hmm. 
I kind of feel like if we're going to be doing things like that... Oh, wait, there's another one from Tiny Progressions. Witherproof? Witherproof. Thank you, Tiny Progressions, for providing something that is the same exact thing as another mod, but cheaper. I appreciate that. Okay, so we're going to be doing it this way. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, if we're going to be doing a lot more sieving for these grains of infinity, I am fairly certain that you can enchant the sieves, or not the sieves, but the screens, these things, um, the meshes. I'm pretty sure you can enchant these with uh, efficiency, like sieve efficiency and sieve fortune. I was going to say we should definitely start looking at doing that before putting that much gravel through this, but since there is another way for us to get to the same effect, I think that's what we're going to do. So if we have witherproof blocks, we could essentially just put it down here for now. This will be temporary, obviously, uh, and just kill like three wither bosses right there. I think that's something we're going to do. So iron bars. Let's craft some of these real quick. Just do like a stack should be enough. Uh, how are we doing on obsidian? We have 1.4 thousand in the system. I think we're good on that. Let's just make as many as we can. 60. That should be pretty good. All right, so yeah, I'm just gonna fill this in back here. We need to make it a three by three by four tall inside in order to properly contain uh, a wither boss. So I'm going to just start digging. Be right back. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I made a few more blocks than what we absolutely needed. Uh, I made the hallway out of this reinforced obsidian too because I know that we're gonna have like an opening right like this. And what happens is the uh, wither boss will be inside explodes and that explosion is going to be sent out this way. It still might destroy a couple blocks, but if I didn't put this around here, I'd be destroying like all of these blocks around and I don't want that. So this will prevent the hallway from becoming like really, really bad to walk through. Uh, so yeah, what we're going to do is we're just going to place the wither boss in here. Oh, I do have the corners. Uh, so like underneath this block right here, it's all solid around because <laughs> i know the explosion goes through the corners as well so yeah everything is completely solid in this room so we shouldn't be getting any explosions through unless this just doesn't prevent uh the blast it doesn't like absorb the blast i'm not sure anyway i think we should be good to go so the idea is we are going to be doing the wither boss here and we're going to place a block and just walk away so we don't take the explosion damage and then come over here and we should be able to poke the wither boss through this hole here. I think we should be okay. So let's do that and do that. And we'll just come over here and let them explode and do, do wither boss things back there for a moment. Okay. So the hallway looks pretty good, pretty well intact. We should just be able to do this. Oh, and he moved. Can you not see me? That might be a problem. Uh, okay. There he goes. No, I can't hit him. Uh, that's kind of a problem. Okay, I wasn't expecting me to not be able to hit him, but it looks like he's gonna kill himself. <laughs> that's pretty funny, I think. Uh, we need some kind of a ranged weapon. Okay, what do we have for a ranged weapon? Do we have a bow? We have a dark bow. Do we have arrows? Oh man, I guess we can go over and grab some arrows real quick. I don't know what's going to happen if monsters are going to spawn in there with them or if things might go bad over there. We might have a little bit of stuff to deal with. Let's grab some arrows. Okay, I think we should be good, though. Doesn't look like anything spawned in that hallway, which is what I was concerned about, but we do have torches. So how is this going to work? There we go. Not the most ideal way to do this, but... For what we got, it's going to work. Yeah, normally when I've done this in the past before, the wither boss will aggro and come forward. Uh, but he's not doing that. I guess he just can't see me right here. Oh, now I can't hit him. Huh. Well, the only thing I can think to do is to remove this block and get him to see me and come forward and aggro. Because we can get him down to 50% and then and then he turns invulnerable. So let's remove this block here. This is probably going to be really dumb, but we'll do this and see if we can get him to aggro. Okay, so now we came forward. This is what I was expecting him to do the whole time. 
All right, so we got him. Wasn't the most elegant way to do it, but we did get him. Uh, it might make sense if I get rid of this block down here or put a slab there. That way I can maybe make eye contact with him and he'll come forward. We can try it that way as well next time. Um, but anyway, we have one nether star and we needed end cake. In order to make this, we are going to need two of them, right? We're also going to need gas tears. I think there's chickens that make that. So we'll probably have to look at that method as well. Is there chickens that make nether stars? Did we even look? Nether star shard, compressed nether star block. So no, it looks like only mystical uh, crops or aggraditions makes that. Okay, so we do have to kill the wither boss like this pretty much. So I'll just do that a couple more times. I will see if maybe having this down here. Actually, let's do it together. We'll see if having that down there makes a difference. We can make the wither boss come forward, hopefully. I'll make our lives a lot easier for doing this. All right, and then I'll place that block right there. And we'll just step back for a second. There's probably a machine that we could make that would just instant kill the wither boss too, but since we don't have the machine set up, that didn't break anything. Okay, so now he sees me. That's what, or did he see me? Yeah, now he sees me. This is what we want right here. Easy, easy. All right, let me go do that one more time. We'll be back, guys. All right, guys, so we ended up getting three nether stars out of it. We only needed two to make that end cake, but, yep, I wanted to fight another one. So end cake, we need some eye of ender. We need the uh, end crystal, which means we're gonna need gas tier. Uh, that's another thing that we are gonna have to sift for, or we could make gas tier chicken. So. I don't think we're going to be able to do that exactly today, but another thing that I was kind of looking at here, we need a cake, and in order to make a cake, we're going to need milk. Um, there's also, I think, yeah, there is cake chickens. Once we make one cake, we can uh, click it on a chicken and turn it into a chicken osto, and that produces cake as well. So depending on how much we need going forward, it is possible that we could make a lot of it, Looks like that'll also drop from a lucky egg or a scrap box, but we don't have the ability to make any of that. But I was thinking, in order to make a cake, we need milk or fresh milk or soy milk. Um, soy milk would be the one thing that doesn't have to come from a cow, but we don't have a way to get milk right now. We've been getting cows spawning, but they're all been fluid cows. And if you try and use a bucket on a fluid cow, you get their fluid. You do not get milk, right? So we could get ourselves a bucket of molten invar off this cow but that's not what we need that won't be a substitute for milk um so pretty much what we need to do is find a way to spawn in a cow and i'm thinking if we do spawn cow egg we can get that from the pam's harvest craft market that does cost nine emeralds but emeralds are essentially free since we have emerald chickens uh so the market is an emerald some planks and some wool i think we might be able to do that if we have the wool in the system Let's take a look real quick. We don't. Do we have string? Well, we don't have any string over here right now, but I know our mob farm has collected a bunch of it, so we should be able to collect that as well. Uh, I do need to keep an eye on this so <laughs> this armor doesn't fill up. I really need to get around to make a filter specifically for uh, taking care of that so that doesn't fill up. Uh, but yeah, string, we got plenty of it over here. Let's just make a little bit of wool. And like so. Okay, when you hold shift. Oh, okay. That says the name of the spawner type on there. Cow Valentines. Okay, I don't know what that means, but whatever. So we have plenty of wool now in order to do this. So let us make uh the the market here. So there's a market. Okay, cool. So market made. This thing, you can buy pretty much any seed. So at this point, we could go ahead and get ourselves the soybean if we wanted to do that. But then we have to press it out and deal with all of that. Or we can go find ourselves the spawn cow. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. So now with the market, we can just find whatever animal we want and just spawn those in. Uh, so that does cost nine emerald. And we have a few of them in here. So let's take this, put those away. All right. So let's do... Well, I don't know. How many are we going to want? I guess we could just do one for now because that should give us unlimited milk. 
I was kind of thinking we might want to put that into a cow in a jar for a liter and have unlimited milk that way, automatic milk, but I don't know if that's necessary. So anyway, let's just take this one cow. Oh, you let's also grab a bucket too. Bucket. All right. So yeah, we'll take this one spawn cow egg and I guess we'll just throw it back here in one of these little holding pens. Like so. Cool. Now we have a cow in the world. And this one produces milk. So with milk, we can make fresh milk, and fresh milk will allow us to make those cakes. Yes, this is super good. Okay, so that should be all the fresh milk we need for the moment. And we can also take that cow and put it into, like, um, you know, one of the animal nets or whatever so we don't have to take up spawnable space in the world. It's the thing we could look at doing. Um, but, yeah, now that we have the fresh milk, we should be able to make and cake... We should be able to make this guy here. What are we missing? Sugar and then the, oh, I guess we should do the one that accepts fresh milk. So we just need sugar, which is super easy. All right, so there is our sugar and there is our cake. Cool. So now that we have that, uh, like I said, we can make the chicken osto chicken or we can just make this directly. Do we have? We don't have regular chicken in here. We have eggs. Uh, we could try making the cake chicken. It might prove to be useful a little bit later. Let's see if we can spawn ourselves in. Oop, there's a chicken. I don't know if the baby chickens, if you can give a cake, if that works, or if they have to be an adult chicken. Oh, it absolutely does work. So now we have a cake chicken. <laughs> a little derpy cake chicken at that. Uh, we have a cake chicken here that will eventually produce eggs. Um, or I guess produce cakes. Oh, that's not what we want. We want seeds. Let's do the. Oh, goodness. Why did that happen? I'm dragging. I let go of the button and then it all like. <laughs> that sucks. It all like combined into one stack and made me, made me create the wrong thing. So yeah, we can feed this thing seeds. It'll grow up to be big and strong that much faster. Okay, it might be worth uh, breeding this and getting two of them and then 10 10 10 them and having all the cake. That might be something I look at doing off camera. But guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap the episode up here for today. Yes, we finally got the world back working, thankfully. I know it was kind of like one of those moments, oh, is the series over? What's going to happen? But no, we got it. Everything's good. We're good to go. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it and... We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.